Hi everyone, in this video we're going to discuss a book on writing mathematical proofs. The book is called A Transition to Advanced Mathematics and this is the Chartran, Palamini, and Zhang book. This is a really good book on proof writing and it's an introductory book. So if you have zero experience writing proofs, uh, this is certainly a good choice. Let's look further inside this textbook. The book starts with chapter zero, which the authors call Communicating Mathematics. It's quite an interesting read. And then they start with sets. I really like that the authors decide to start with sets rather than logic. Um, sometimes when you start with logic, uh, it's not as interesting. Uh, you do need logic in order to do uh, set theory, uh, but it's nice to just jump into it and just begin with sets. Chapter two is on logic goes through all the basic logic stuff that you need to write proofs. And then in chapter 3, he jumps into actual proof. So direct proof and proof by contrapositive. 4 is more on direct proof and proof by contrapositive. Lots of really nice examples uh, in the textbook. 5 is on proof by contradiction. And 6 is prove or disprove. Uh, they talk about quantifiers, existence proofs, counterexamples, and disproving statements and testing statements. Seven is a very nice chapter, and I'm very happy that the authors decided to include this. Equivalence relations. These are extremely important and fundamental in all of mathematics. Eight talks about functions, and then nine talks about mathematical induction. There's plenty of induction examples, and then they go on to talk about the cardinalities of sets. This is a nice section. And then chapter 11 is on proofs and number theory. 12 actually has proofs in calculus, which is very, very nice for a proof writing book. Not all proof writing books have this, so this is a huge plus uh, to this book. And 13 has proofs in actual group theory. So as you see, we have permutation groups, subgroups, and even isomorphic groups. And the author does provide answers and hints to selected odd-numbered exercises, which is absolutely crucial uh, when you're trying to learn proofs and you're trying to learn on your own. This is a sample proof by contradiction. Let's look at it, at least the beginning. If A is an even integer and B is an odd integer, then 4 does not divide the quantity A squared plus 2B squared. So notice how the author starts the proof. He starts by assuming that A is an even integer, and b is an odd integer. And then he says, and assume to the contrary that 4 does divide the quantity a squared plus 2b squared. So the language is very, very elegant, and it's very clear uh, what they're doing in their proof. They're using a proof by contradiction because they say, assume to the contrary. Not all books are written in this way. So the proofs in this book are very elegant, and they are very well done. So this is a good choice for someone who is learning to write proofs because you will learn to write proofs the correct way and a very elegant way. I think the proofs that are written in this book are much cleaner and much more elegant than the proofs you would find in, say, your typical uh, discrete mathematics book. The book provides plenty of exercises, so you get tons of practice uh, doing problems. And there's a good mix of proofs and counterexamples and uh, examples. So all kinds of problems, and there's tons of them. Also, the author does provide solutions to many of the problems. So it makes it a good choice for self-study. This is the section on proofs and calculus. This is a sample delta epsilon proof. Now, uh, it's OK. I mean, the author does do a good job. However, uh, I think they do show some uh, unnecessary things here. However, this is a uh, proof writing book, so it's a book meant to teach people to write proofs. So I guess they're doing this because they think it helps people learn. Um, but overall, you know, besides me being extremely picky and you know criticizing <laughs> other people's work, it's a good book, and the author does do a good job uh, explaining things. So an excellent choice if you're deciding to learn how to write proofs. I would recommend getting this book and other proof writing books, but this is one that you can pick up for only a few dollars. It's called A Transition to Advanced Mathematics, and this is the Chartrand, Palomini, and Zhang book. That's it.